In this tutorial we will see how to add a secondary layer of noise on your planet using the details uh, tab. Basically it's uh, another layer of noise that you can blend with the, the basic uh, stuff you already have. So I can just check have details and the noise is um, really the same thing as the, the basic relief uh, noise. What is really interesting here is the relief parameters. The relief parameters here uh, is just, uh, well, that, that one in particular, the blending type. It's all you combine this layer of noise to the already present uh, layer. So you can either uh, add noise, so it will be uh, some stuff that you put on top of uh, what is already existing. You can subtract. You can uh, multiply, you can uh, uh, do uh, cracks. So cracks is very useful if you want to, to make uh, some uh, canyons and stuff like that. And then you have uh, the peaks and uh, minimum and maximum. Uh, let's say we'll first uh, play with the, the add uh, button. The level is used only for uh, minimum and maximum. It's not used for the other blending type. Here you have the intensity. Uh, if you put the intensity to zero, you have uh, basically uh, a null layer. You have nothing. You are adding nothing to the to the stuff. If you put it very high, of course, it will just completely saturate the noise. And what is interesting here is the the cut range. It's basically where you want to add uh, your noise. So it's the the minimum and maximum. Uh, eight where you want to add your noise. So for instance, uh, you want to add stuff, but only uh, on the on the peaks of mountains, then you will select a range that is uh, really high. And so you see it's only saturating the already high mountains. If you want to add noise only on the lowest part of the planet, then you choose your range over here you see it's it's adding uh, matter where it's uh, it's the deepest where it's the where you have already very low uh, altitude and the intensity here is just uh, how high you want that to be so if I put it to zero it will do nothing And uh, you can also change the, the softness. So it's basically how the blending is happening over here. So I can have something that is really sharp. It's, uh, it's really up to you, but it's something that is really, you have really um, strong um, borders between the two. And then you can have something really soft if you go uh, really high here, here as value. So the the add is uh, adding some matter. The sub is removing matter. So you see, uh, I can see the the limit over here. So for the sub, it's probably better to subtract from the the mountains. So you have some stuff here, very high and the, the subtract is just removing matter. Then you have the multiply. So it's uh, it's blending the, the, the two noises by multiplying them. The cracks. Um, it's interesting to reduce here the range of the, the noise for the cracks. So it will be really localized. Uh, so if I have something that is really narrow here, you see uh, you have really interesting uh, things happening. You have all the cracks here, the the um, the canyons appearing here, and you can choose, of course, the range where you want these canyons to to appear.
and the softness will really define how sharp the transition is and uh, the intensity how deep the canyons are you can of course change the, the parameter of the noise here if you have a lowest scale it will be much larger canyons let's say i want to have uh, that uh, here so i'm just uh, narrowing even more and you can scale that to have more uh, well longer cracks let's say i want to have cracks all around my planet okay you see it's much much larger and you can of course change the the, the type of noise uh, to have uh, different uh, different aspect if you want to have something really smooth then you can reduce the roughness so it will just be very, very soft lines if you put lots of roughness you will have lots of details and uh, lots of complex complexity chaos uh, all around here you really have uh, quite good control of what you're doing here so if i increase here the distance it will just spread more and so this is uh, this this is what we have as a result for the cracks and if you do that for the peaks uh, it's just adding uh, adding mountains everywhere and here you can also of course uh, having something much uh, sharper to have just mountains localized here and then you have the minimum and maximum so here it's probably better to have something uh, larger uh, so it's taking the two noises and uh, choosing which one is uh, is winning the minimum or maximum uh, test uh, and this is uh, where the level is interesting uh, where you can choose uh, where you want to to place the, the middle value for this secondary noise so here for a minimum uh, if I put very high value I will just have a minimum working on the on the peaks and if I have something really low then basically I will have my noise all over the planet my secondary noise all over the planet same goes for a maximum but uh, the other way around so the maximum is interesting to have uh, it's interesting to have quite low value uh, for level uh, so it can appear only on the lowest part of the planet and here again you can tune the, the intensity as you wish once you're happy with what you've done so for instance here you, you can see that I have some uh, some maximum here you can also colorize the secondary layer to be different from the, the, the main layer so you can choose the, the color your color ramp and you have your intensity and uh, the color burn so it's the, the saturation of the of the color over here so uh, let's say that I want to add some uh, green stuff here so the color intensity you can really see what what it's doing and uh, the color bur burn is more the, s the saturation so playing with the, these two sliders you can really have uh, what you what you want so the secondary uh, layer so the details uh, it's very interesting it adds lots of uh, variation on your planet but be aware that it's uh, slowing down also the, the rendering, especially certain type of noise. The, the Voronoi uh, noises are quite slow compared to the Perlin noises, but uh, it's, it's really interesting uh, to have uh, those two noises combining. So that's it for the, the details uh, tab. Uh, we will see other stuff in the following tutorial that will add more interesting feature on your planet.